day. Let's get right into it, shall we? Gentlemen, let's work. Let's it go. is expected mm -hmm. that Jared Goff and Carson Wentz are taken with the top two picks. After the quarterbacks, there's a lot of suspense, including what the Cowboys should do with that fourth pick. So yesterday, Mel Kuyper released his final big board where he has Ohio State defensive end Joey Bosa ranked second and Florida State cornerback Jalen Ramsey ranked third. Skip, if both of those guys mm. are available at four, mm. who should your Cowboys take? Molly, Stephen A., what do I always say? Trust your initial instinct. What does your gut tell you right away? <laughs> Even though I have been distracted of late, tempted of late by two guys who've sat across from me here on first take, Ezekiel Elliott, Shaq Lawson impressive young men with impressive resumes and even though I have been a little distracted and it has given me cause to pause when I've heard all the new raves about Jalen Ramsey I'm probably gonna hear more of those from you in just a moment even though I saw Des tweet early on early in the process take Jalen Ramsey if he's there at four I'm going back to my initial instinct. I told you from the start, it's Joey Bosa at number four. And thank you, my man, Mel Kuyper, for clinching it for me when I woke up this morning and I saw the final big board, and Mel had Joey Bosa ranked second behind Jeremy, uh, Laramie Tunsil as the, 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 these are just the top players in order, regardless of position. Okay. By the way, he's got the quarterbacks at five, Goff, and seven yeah. wins. I that would give it. me cause to pause if I were the L.A. Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles. But when Mel wrote what he wrote, uh, the, the, lots of talent in defensive line. Mel writes, Bosa stands out as a gifted high-motor player who can rush the passer and being a, devastated, a devastating force against the run. He's a picture of what we talk about when we use the phrase high floor. I agree. Not only that, but he is now a need pick thanks to my Dallas Cowboys who went south on me in DeMarcus Lawrence, who will serve four-game suspension for I'm not sure what he I'm took. so surprised. Yeah, I'm so no, surprised. Yeah. So I'm so surprised. surprised. And what? Randy, what? Randy Gregory <laughs> will serve. <laughs> what? Yeah. What's yeah. it? But I'm, I'm not surprised about Randy Gregory. <laughs> Jerry Jones. And, and obviously, Jerry, you know? to me, swung and missed on Greg Hardy. He's still sitting uh, out what? there. And please, what? please, Jerry, please, Jerry, don't take that risk again. Don't be, be tempted. Don't get that desperate on me. You got to take a defensive lineman, and this one, and I'm going back before your time. Do you remember the great Randy White Hall of Fame sure, defensive sure, lineman? Sure, sure, sure. Back when the Cowboys were relevant. Yes, Go when ahead. they were winning Super Bowls That's right. right and left. That's right. Although they did lose to your Pittsburgh That's, Steelers yes, they a couple did. of times. Yes, they did. Randy White, highest motor player I was ever around. Devastating force, terror on the football field. I'm seeing some Joey Bosa, Randy White comparisons here. I'm going Joey Bosa. Thank you very much. Let me tell you what's so comical about your position. You are actually telling the Dallas Cowboys to follow their gut. <laughs> please, please do it. Please, Dallas Cowboys. Please, please, pretty please with sugar on top. Follow your gut. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because trust me when I tell you, if the Dallas Cowboys follow their gut, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. Because let me tell you something right now. About all they got is their guts. Bring your own guts, baby. I'm stealing from oh, Clinton. You Bring your own I like guts. It. I, I like love it. it. Go ahead, it. Jerry Jones. Go ahead, Stephen Jones. Go ahead and follow your gut. Because the only question I got about Joey Bosa is the fact that the Cowboys are interested in him. If it wasn't for the Cowboys, I think he's a short fire pick. But because the Cowboys are high on him, makes me a bit reticent. Now, if the Cowboys are smart in my estimation, although I do understand that Joey Bosa can play, he's got a high motor, he's a playmaker, he's exceptional against the run, I get all of this. I heard what Mel Kuyper had to say because I interviewed him a few days ago before he came out with his big boy. Here's my reality to Wait, you. you scooped Mel Kuyper on him? No, 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 I didn't scoop okay, him. I said uh, I interviewed no, him okay, I got it, right before right. he wrote the big boy. But my point to you is this. <laughs> When you talk about the Dallas Cowboys, even though Lawrence is out, because we 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 don't know, we don't know, we know that Randy Gregory couldn't stay off the weed. We understand yeah, we that Greg Hardy's a different kind of problem that yeah. is not funny nope. at all. Nope. The reality of the situation is two of the three names that were mentioned at some point in time, Molly, mm. Skip, aren't they going to be back? I think I, I think they're going to be back. So. If they're going to be back and they're going to be on the roster, mm -hmm. you certainly want to play them, not just because they can play, but because if they're not playing, 
they're going to find other things to entertain their time. And we don't want that for them. We wait, don't wish that on Jesse. No, no, no. Right, wait, are you predicting there'd no, be a second suspension? No, no, never because that. Because they're on the first no, suspension? No, no, okay. never that. No, right. no, Not like never that. Cologne never that. Never like that. that. Okay. I wouldn't do something like that. My point to you is this. Joey Bosa ultimately is in a crowd. Jalen Ramsey out of Florida State, he's physical, he's athletic, he's a playmaker, he's got great instincts, and more importantly, it speaks to a very glaring weakness on the part of the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Carr is underachieved, Orlando Skandrick is coming off not one, but two mm. ACL injuries, if I remember correctly. Yep. So when you look at it from that perspective, they're in desperate need of somebody in their secondary. Not to mention the fact that, again, when you buffer your secondary, it ultimately assists in your pass rush because whether it's a split second or two, you're giving guys, guys are you're giving them more time to get at the quarterback mm -hmm. because of your ability to defend in the secondary. I believe Jalen Ramsey is the way to go. I believe his makeup is prototypical of what the Dallas Cowboys are looking for. I think if you get Bosa, you put him into a crowd, you're begging for trouble. Not that it'll be Bosa's fault, but the system he's going in and all the noise and the distractions and everything else there at that position could be problematic. Mm -hmm. It is clear that you need Ramsey, and it is clear that Ramsey will come in from day one without any distraction. You desperately need him in the secondary. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you don't need a pass rusher. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying with what they have already and the bodies that they have, they'll need that. They'll need Ramsey more than they need that. Okay. Are you suggesting that if you put Joey Bosa in a crowd, you meaning of... Of other defensive low character? Line. Other, other defensive or, or, linemen. Is that what I'm we're saying, talking about? No, I'm saying they're all going to be looking to play. Oh. All of them are well, going to I'm be looking sure to play. I'm pretty sure Joey Bosa would start wait, 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 and finish wait, 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 every game. Well, you could say that, yeah. and I'm saying to you that the combination of the bodies that are there, what they're capable of doing, and what the expectations are for them, assuming they can stay on the field, mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, you that is not as big of a need as Jalen Ramsey is in your secondary. Okay, I remind you, my Cowboys, though picking much later in the first round, took some guy out of UConn, I forget his name, like oh, Byron Jones, yeah. you know? He set now, some records he, at the Combine. He, he yeah. set some records at the Combine. He didn't set any on the field yet. He didn't set it on fire just yet, but he will. I like. I saw flashes last year. Only Cowboys. So my point to you, Mr. Smith, is it is a need pick to go cornerback, although I, I think Jalen Ramsey's going to project as a safety at some point mm -hmm. in his career. He's versatile. Extremely though. physical, but I'm going to ask you the hard Hardest question of all. Are yeah. we talking about a neon Deion Sanders here? Because they both went to Florida State, obviously, and there are some comparisons I want, out there. I want to reserve comment on that until I speak to my man, Prime Time. I'm going to defer you, you to him. You should do that. Well, I mean, that's I'd my man. We talk all the that. time, but but we didn't speak about tweet this recently. Right we didn't you know speak about watching. this recently. Yeah, Prime, tweet us. Let yeah, us know we, how you feel. All I'm saying to you is that I haven't spoken to him about Jalen Ramsey. I will defer to prime time to tell me whether or not somebody is prime time capable. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Well, I, 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 that's, that's called respect okay. for greatness, okay. which you don't seem to have. I, from I'm time about to, time. to have a whole lot of respect for a whole lot of greatness. Okay. I had the pleasure, the honor of covering one Deion Sanders when he was a Dallas Cowboy for one year, one Super Bowl year. The most extraordinary player I have ever covered. I've told you this before. He is clearly to me. The, I, I believe he's the greatest athlete ever in sports. I know you can go Bo Jackson and blah, blah, all this. But, but again, Dion was an all-state high school basketball player in Florida. We know he was a, a starting baseball player for the Yankees and Braves, center fielder, and obviously the greatest cornerback ever. It, it is laughable to me to put Jalen Ramsey in that category. Laughable. And it's no insult to Jalen Ramsey, but Jalen Ramsey ran 4.45 in the 40. 4.45. Dion ran 4.27, and they tell that classic story about he didn't really want to run at the combine. He had on his tracksuit, you know, and he just said, oh, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. And he just took his tracksuit off, didn't even stretch. Boom. Typical prime. 4.27. That's prime. That's prime. Okay. That's, that's, prime. Prime. that's who okay. he is. That, that, that's, that's who he is. Did. Okay. That's who he I, is. I look back at his stats at Florida State, and he stayed all four years, but he had only one interception as a freshman. Then he went four four and five interceptions as a senior and three of those went all the way back for a touchdown nobody could take it to the house the way primetime could take it back to the house when That's he right. got his hands on the football That's right 
<clears throat> Jalen Ramsey, Jalen right. Ramsey in his career, he had a total of three interceptions over three years. That's none last year, his junior year at Florida State. Mm -hmm. He went one as a freshman, two as a sophomore, and the knock on him is he just doesn't have great ball skills or anticipation. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he's not going to be an elite player at whichever position he winds up at, corner or safety, because he is extremely physical, and the story Jerry told yesterday was he actually got kicked out of a practice before his sophomore more year it was a media fan practice in august ahead of the season because he was too physical he was breaking the practice rules and knocking people down he was not supposed to knock down including Jameis winston and when he knocked Jameis winston down who probably had on a red target jersey in that practice again a preseason practice uh that's when jimbo said uh you are out for today and, and sort of showed him up in front of the media and fans okay I like it. I like the physicality. But is he Neon Dion? No, he's not. So, yeah. so again, I'm not saying but, he's but, a bust, but, 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 but I'm not but, taking him. But let's be four. clear. Once again, you lack perspective. There is no one that is prime time. That is a fact. Deion Sanders. Okay, but There's I'm only some one. Comparisons. There's a, I mean, prime time is so prime time, he ain't allowed to work in the daytime unless he's on first take. That's it. Okay, that's how that's prime time true. prime time is. Okay, yeah. I mean, listen, the man showed up at first take. When have you ever seen him on TV in the daytime other than that? You don't really see him. It's usually prime time hours because he's true, prime Mark? time. I guess it is. You got to think okay. about it. Gotta, I'm, I'm trying to help you yeah, out he here. Yeah, he showed up. Yeah. He showed up here on first it. take for yeah. us for kill, okay. and killed it for an hour. That's how prime time he is. But what I'm saying to you is, there's only one. When I look at a guy like Jalen Ramsey, I'm thinking about his past. I'm thinking about the 52 taxes, tackles. I'm thinking about the nine passes is defended, which led Florida State. I'm thinking about the fact that the, that the dude's a hit man, and you've got he's people hit, that don't want to run in his direction, don't want to throw in his direction, because he's the kind of dude that when receivers are running routes, they're looking for where he's at before they're even looking for the ball. Mm -hmm. If you're the Dallas Cowboys, you kind of want that, you kind of need that. Now, the Dallas Cowboys weren't completely atrocious. They were fifth against the pass last year, and we had to sit 22 against the run. So if you want to make an argument in favor of Bosa, it would be that. But to me, it's not just about the talent, it's about a mystique. America's team sorely lacks. They don't have anybody on defense that you want to look at. I mean, Greg Hardy was menacing for the wrong reasons, okay? They don't have He's anybody. Menacing to his own team. They, they don't have anybody that's, that's truth, menacing right? for the right reasons. Yep. And I think Jalen Ramsey can kind of change that. You don't think Joey Bosa isn't menacing? My God. God, I don't, he's a terror. I'm not. I'm not imagining that on the next level. I know he was at Ohio State. I'm not taking anything away from what I saw him do for the Buckeyes. I'm not taking anything away from the fact that he deserves to be a top ten pick in the NFL draft, and he is a talent. But when I think about uh, when I think about talent, Skip, you know from the time I saw him go up against Alabama, I've been a Kimdichi fan. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, his off the field stuff issues. is the problem. And, but and from now, a talent Mel perspective, and Todd have him listen, going in the second from, from, round. Know, like, because of okay, that, because yeah. from a talent perspective, I would have considered him over Bosa. Okay, but low motor versus high motor. That's fair, okay. because Mel said the same thing. Yep. In other words, sometimes he doesn't yep. want to play. But again, and this is a bad example to support Kim Dietschy, but I have to throw it out there. Jadavion Clowney entering the last year, knowing he's going to the NFL, yep. don't want to risk injury. But he was when, beat up. He had an ankle I'm issue. I'm just saying, you, have, you, yep. you have these issues yep. that people look at. And in today's day, particularly with the NFL and the way that they are, look at this kid out of Notre Dame and what's happening to him. To get hurt in the Fiesta mm -hmm. Bowl, I mean, could you imagine, Jalen Smith? I mean, come on. Now, I, I'm terrible. just saying, you think about stuff like that oh, when you're a college player in this day and age. Why they should be paid. You know, he should have right. been making That's a lot of money along the way. You're right. You're right. That part's a whole other story. Yeah.